Hey there, Cheese here, and this game just came out today. I'm kind of breaking my string of not uploading anything because I'm trying to get the MMZ perfect run done because, ah, uh, this game! So, this game is Lennon 4. It is a game I've been waiting for for like a year and a half. Uh, it is a vertical shmup game, kind of like the Toho games, if you've heard of those. If you haven't, I'm just going to get into it and explain what's happening and why it's so cool. What are these? These are... Oh, story mode. Arcade mode, which does not seem to be selectable. Ch challenge mode, wow. And back to the menu, I think. Me no, that's not it at all. Tutorial. Tutorial. Pfft. Okay. Yeah, I'm not even close. So, story mode. Easy. M uh, let's just start on normal mode. We have lots of characters. Whoa! We have five teams instead of four. The Shototos! Okay, that's cool. And. Oh my gosh! Okay, so the demo only had these two teams of three. Each of these sets of three is a team of three, and you have to choose who's... You have to... Each of the three is going to have a different role, which is why... Say, say... Oh, this team is all the best characters! Ah, I got it. I got it. Okay. So, Say, say will be the main shot. What's your name again? I can't believe I'm forgetting. Ten... Tenkai? I've listened to your theme like a thousand times, why am I forgetting your name? Uh... Well, okay, well, Say Say here will be the main shot. I forget your name will be the bomb. And then the third character is Moral Support. The third character actually has a different purpose that I will explain later. But essentially, this game, you it ha if you look at this over on the left here, you can go left, right, or center every time like you go up. And Whether you go left or right or up changes based on how you move during the stage. Like, here I've been slightly more to the left more often than any other direction, so I went left. You can tell where you're going by this meter down here. If you're in the purple center, you're just going straight up. If you're on the left, or if you're on the red part, you're going left, and if you're on the white part, you're going right. The meter... You move along the meter as you stay towards one direction or another. And I kind of don't want to go back to the right. I want to go to the, stay on the left, at least. So yeah, I made it back into the purple and I went straight ahead. I took a couple of hits there, but uh, as you can see, I'm not dead yet. I haven't lost a life. Normally, in games like this, getting hit means you lose a life. These shots are kind of weak, but they do pierce neat. This game actually has, you see that red meter down there? That's the amount of life that you have in your current life. These red blocks down here are the amount of actual lives that you have, the number of lives that you have. Yee. Just squeeze through. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm. Hey, I made it. So this might seem like a bit much for normal mode. Okay, yeah, over on the left right here, I made it just... Hello, say say. I just made it onto the red section. That means in the next stage, this one up here is the stages. The bottom row is stage one, the second bottom row is stage two. So I'm going to move to the left stage two, which means... And basically, anytime you're moving to a new column, 
you're going to fight a new boss. Like, if you move to the left every time... Like, okay. If you're moving to the one column to the left, whether you're doing that on stage 1 or stage 4, if you're moving to the column 1 to the left of here, you'll always fight the left stage 1 boss, basically. This person. Sh Shirami Soko. Uh, that's how you progress in the game, basically. Stage by stage. This game is very untraditional for a shmup. And just nav like navigating your way forward says that. Like, there's plenty more. Also, Shirami Soko has some really neat patterns, and I like or so why did I use both names? Who am I, Francisco? Von Karma? I don't know. Ah! That was the dumb idea. So... You see down here there's those, uh, blue blocks? That's basically a shield that regenerates passively. You can see its progress down here on the blue meter. If you get hit, it stops regenerating for like a full minute, which is actually kind of a lot. But... After that, you start actually regenerating. Whoa! <laughs> that was... Okay, yeah, see, most of my shield is gone now, and it's gonna be a while before it starts to grow. Okay, that entire extra shield that I had is now gone, and it's going to be a while before... It starts refilling enough that I get even a single block of blue back there. That thing that you just saw drop on the left there into this meter that's shaped like a cross is a bomb. That meter is for your bombs. And different colored... like The moon shapes are the normal. I don't know what the other things are, but they're different. Anyway, you can see the stage is larger and longer. Let's keep going to the left, because if I go straight or back to the right, I won't be facing the left path stage 2 boss. I'll be facing some other stage 2 boss that is not plot relevant. I think... I've only played the demo thus far, which goes to three stages in, but I'm pretty sure if you're going to fight a final boss, you gotta make it all the way to the left or right column. Uh, this does not seem like it's supposed to happen. So, another interesting thing about this is random effects. Ow. Why are you still coming? This is bad. This is so bad. Ah, uh, more bombs. Yeah, so that was a special bomb. I don't know what was special about it, but the thing appeared. So, what you... The enemy formation that you fight is going to be randomized. Uh... Yeah. And... You... It's randomized in each cell, and once you're, you've cleared a wave, you get to progress through the cell. There are, in addition to random enemy patterns, also, like, there are, okay, not completely random, there are a set number of patterns. There are also random effects, like, I can't use bombs if I had any. That's what that cage is for. And what happened that made me use all my bombs, I believe, is an effect called drunkenness, where enemies move the correct way, Oof. but they don't fire any of the bullets that they're supposed to and fire bullets for different formations at random which can cause the most chaos out of anything I gotta focus on getting back to the left I only have like one waves worth of leeway if I'm gonna progress to the real stage 2 2 boss ah there's my first life lost This is gonna- ooh, it's a mid-boss, it's you. Mid-bosses are not set in stone and they kind of just show up at random with a boss using one of their- a boss from that stage or another stage using one of their attacks at random. 
I've actually had bosses, like, that are supposed to be left path bosses show up on the right path as mid bosses, so... That's interesting. The bullets are a different color now. Uh, bullet color affects how much of your, uh, life or shield gauge you lose if, you, if it hits you. And I think if I beat this without getting hit, I'll get an extra life. I think that's maybe what this effect was. Also, that was the wrong... Okay, I'm far enough on the left that I can dodge this as I need to. I'm far enough in the red travel meter, that is, that I'll still move left after this attack. So I can dodge it the safe way. Do I get an extra life? Yes! Extend! That's an extra life for me. And I just barely made it to the next stage. Ooh, I am at five bombs already. How did that happen? Oh, because I died and got three more, and then I got two from the two mid-bosses. Okay, say say. Sukune, that's right! How did I forget that? They say Sukune and Tenkai. And here we have our stage 2 left boss. Kesa Kujiru. An annoying slug, if I'm remembering the attacks correctly. Wonderful theme, though. That's another thing. The graphics and music in the Lennon series as a whole, so good. And while the uh, stages attack patterns sometimes leave things to be desired. The bosses' attack patterns are always very, very interesting. Sometimes it makes them a little harder than they should be, but always super interesting and pretty fun to dodge. Most of the time. Uh, whoa! No, this did happen. I just forgot about it temporarily. I was expecting something different. So maybe this isn't such an annoying person. Nope, this is an annoying person. That's... yuck. I hate these whatever they are, because they curve weird uh, and make me panic. I'm not being close enough to you for these bombs to work as well as... Ooh, I'm at full power. I'm shooting little... Am, am I still at full power? Nope. Yeah! E ah. Did not react in time. I have been pressing the bomb button, but I guess it keeps you from wasting a bomb if you've already lost some of your eep. This is at least more manageable. Only two large slow ones. Stupid. I'm just gonna bomb here. You mind? I hope not. Now I'm at full power. Ooh, I've got little spikies! Wait, am I- I'm still not at full power. So, more powerful Say Say has a melee attack. I guess I've been not at full power for a very long time, and it's kind of hard to get there with how weak the- like, especially weak the low power shots seem to be. That's interesting. So that's a very damaging melee attack that Seise has at high power. Uh, before I move on to stage 3, I think I'm going to stop the recording and check and make sure, see if I want to change any settings to make it record better. And I'll be back. Be uh, yes. How do I pause? Is it escape? Yes. Alright, I'm back and I watched the recording. A few things that I forgot to mention or got completely wrong. Uh, apparently I've been at the minimum power of Say Say for like almost the entire time so far until I used that one bomb with the P on it which apparently puts me at max power. That's interesting. Uh, also, the one death that I had, you might have been confused on it because I still had plenty of shields left. It seems that there was an effect 
the random effect when I lost that life was penetration. In other words, your shields during that spe specific phase are useless. Thankfully, I don't think that particular effect comes up very often. Uh, and looking here, I I see that on reading on the left, the random effect here is left and right are reversed. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. Also, looking at the character select, it seems now character different characters have different amounts of health, which is why m yeah left and right are reversed, which is why I have so many areas in my health there like normally you don't get that much health uh, okay if all controls were reversed I'd have an easier time with this but with up and down still being up and down instead of down and up I'm gonna have trouble I just go with normal just left and right here we go there we go uh, oh, that's penetration. That's bad. And this is one of the worst things that it could have shown up for, but they don't seem to be firing bullets right now, so maybe it's actually a blessing in disguise. It's not a blessing, but it could have been way worse. When this pattern fires bullets at you, it's scary. But here, it's just moving left and right. Okay, yeah, Say Say, when she's properly powered up, is a melee killing machine, wow. And now I'm being pushed upwards. Oh, I need to move left, that's right. No, that's left. Wah ha ha. Um. There was something else, wasn't there? I don't know. I'm gonna focus on dodging for a while. It's not the easiest thing to try and explain complicated game mechanics while I'm- what's that? Well I can- oh I slow down when I'm in here. I don't know if I've ever run into that before. Is that something that wasn't in the um, demo or was it just I never played on high enough difficulty slash stages for it to show up? That's another thing. Uh, on higher difficulties more uh, of these random effects show up all the time. Oh, it's you again. Why are you back? <laughs> like, I know that the when there's a mid-boss, who it is and what attack they use are always random, but <laughs> that's three now. I know you're consumed by jealousy and all that, but leave us alone. Ooh, one of my second shield just finished refilling. I think that's what that sound was just then. I don't think I'm doing much damage here. Let's try doing much damage here. Yeah, that's better. No apparently devastating effects this time, as far as I can tell. Ah, uh, Seisei is so much better at full power. This is way better than being at minimum power this entire time. Ah, uh, I panicked. Oh well. Uh, oh, poison. That top one is poison. And penetration's there, too. This is bad. Poison very slowly drains your life. You can see my red meter decreasing ever so slowly. And then a little more because of penetration. When you get poison, you want to hope that it's not a long wave. Because that was... A good portion of my second life, or my current life, I guess. I have three right now. Uh, and maybe this current effect is durable enemies, because I don't seem to be able to kill them. Although, Say Say might just have very little ranged power. That's always possible. Uh, that lower one seems familiar, but I don't know what it is. Okay, yeah, Seisei Se just has all the power in the world at close range, and is balanced by... She's not very powerful at far range, and she's even less powerful 
when all she has is far range. And when she's at full power- ooh, extend chance! I forgot that that existed, so that was a random effect that removes my current shield. It's basically like a forced hit, and I hate it just a little bit. Actually, just a little bit. Not as in understatement, just a little bit. But if I play this game more, I'll probably grow to hate it more than just a little bit. And I, oh, barely made kept in the red. I should stop paying attention to that. Whoops. Uh, I feel like there was one last... Oh, yes. So, this seems like it's crazy for normal mode start of the game. Uh, that is because you can actually upgrade your abilities. You can make yourself more powerful. You can make yourself take less damage. You can probably make yourself, like, increase the amount that gaining power items levels up your power meter, which is that red thing on the far right. Th I haven't looked into it because I like doing challenging myself at level zero, like no upgrades like it is now, but uh, you can get some pretty powerful things. You can even like, there's an umbrella ability that you can get where while you're firing, like every two seconds an umbrella will appear to either side of you and they fly forward and erase bullets. It is insane the levels like that you can upgrade yourself to so even though normal mode looks absolutely insane when you upgrade yourself you're more than capable of tackling it well depending on who you are upgrading your, let's put it this way upgrading yourself turns it from like if you upgrade fully it, the normal mode goes from way harder normal mode than usual to actually probably a little easier than the usual normal mode for this kind of game. Anyway, here we have Azuma Kaisen. I like her because she has weird attacks that aren't too hard to dodge, and her theme subti her theme song subtitle is called This Drunkard, which is hilarious. Ooh, that's right, they bounce. Good thing, I think Seisei is just made for this fight. Whoop! Why am I not bombing? Oh, I don't have bombs. Ah! That's right, I don't want to stay high enough, I want to stay low enough that they don't, they can't hit me from behind. I'm, that's not working. <laughs> Here I want to stay in the middle, oh yeah. After this, I will be... I will not have any idea, after I beat stage 3, what I'm going to be fighting. And wow, Seisei Rex this person. This drunkard. This is my favorite attack. <laughs> it's just funny. It's like this... It's like that thing that ha Oh, it got, got an extra life for beating the stage 3 boss automatically, I guess. Because that was definitely not a random effect. You don't get random effects when you're fighting a legit stage boss. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Seisei does really well against this drunkard. That's good. And since the demo only goes up to stage 3, everything from here on... I is something that's completely new to me.